guys, here today with another Lean Hybrid Muscle Reloaded update. I think you're going to enjoy today's video. Elliot is going to take you through some hybrid workouts, show you exactly how you can train this type 3 muscle fiber. You'll get a little bit better feel about our periodization, the exercise selection, and maybe you can try some of these at home. Thanks a lot, guys. Hey, it's Elliot again, and welcome to my messy desk. Today, I'm going to show you exactly how we use the Lean Hybrid Muscle Reloaded training program. I'm actually going to give you the workouts. This is a PDF of some of the workouts that we actually use at my gym strength camp that I personally follow and that we recommend our customers and clients do use in order to build that biologically superior type 3 muscle fiber that we were talking about in the past few videos. So uh, let's go through one week in one of the phases. Now just so you know what you're looking at here there are three phases all three phases focus on different strength qualities you know we mentioned the qualities earlier being uh, strength power velocity endurance um, so and speed so uh, each phase has a different emphasis and and what we typically do is we rotate through these three f uh, phases in order to build a, a really balanced physique, or if we are looking to uh, improve in one quality over another, we'll stay with one phase uh, a little bit longer. So uh, this particular phase, phase one, which is actually the second phase, don't get confused, we've got a pre-phase before this we kind of use for uh, maintenance and deloading, and I'll tell you a little bit more about that another time, why it's very important for us to, uh, to have a maintenance program. Um, but anyway, this is our, uh, our our phase one, and we're going to go through each one of the days. And I'm going to explain to you how we emphasize the different strength qualities. So uh, let's begin. And uh, oh, stick around to the end of this video. We've got some really cool footage of guys actually doing these workouts. Um, so if I start boring you, just uh, fast forward. Anyway, so day one on phase one is uh, we call this a power building day. This phase focuses uh, primarily on building strength and power. You notice the very first exercise, we've got five sets of five. This changes from week to week, but essentially we want to be able to lift heavy weights uh, with some of our exercises. And then we follow up with some, uh, some moderate weight bodybuilding type exercises, so that's why we call this power building. This is sort of power lifting, this is bodybuilding. And, uh, and then we finish with a, uh, a fat loss finisher, so we are working on speed also. So if you're following me, we've got strength here. And we've got speed down here. Um, bodybuilding sort of falls into the in between the two of them. But uh, we've got powerlifting, bodybuilding, and speed training all within the same program. We've got uh, also this is you can consider this endurance because there are ten sets and they're very short rest intervals between these thirty second sprints. Um, the difference between what you're doing here as a finisher and what you're doing here uh, with the powerlifting is the rest intervals. Uh, it's one of the differences, obviously. Um, here, you're keeping them very short. Even here, we're keeping them short, but here, you rest as long as you want. So if you notice right away, we're, we're just manipulating variables all over the place. And uh, obviously, I know that you are. You can probably write this down, and you can get started with this program right away if you feel like it. I don't mind. I, I want you to try this stuff out. Uh, day two is also a power building day. A little different. Uh, you notice there's a lot less volume. We spend a little bit more time on actual power lifting on this day, and it's uh, primarily ba uh, focused on the legs, lower body, and core. And uh, as you see here, again, it's five sets of five, three sets of six with the step-ups. And, uh, and again, we've got some uh, a fat loss finisher at the bottom, which is a uh, our sprint intervals. By this point, you should be trashed. I mentioned earlier that you would have... Uh, your nervous system would be fried. Well, you're probably starting to get here, especially if, you, um, if you've been really following this program very hard. So by day two, or no, by day three, we take a rest. Day four, we call these hybrid training circuits. Here, we're focusing a little bit more on, that, on the fat burning quality of, uh, of, the, of the type three muscle fiber. And, um, and what we do is we keep the rest intervals very short. We go from, uh, if you notice that it's a training circuit, so we go from exercise to exercise to exercise, take a two-minute rest after sprinting, which is D, and we repeat this four times. So we've got, we're working a little bit more on endurance here. We're working on power here also, barbell thrusters, which, by the way, if you don't know what 
some of these exercises are, you click that link. Let's see, my computer's running a little slow right now. You click that link and it should pull up a video. Actually, that's supposed to go to a different site. This is one of the older guys at my gym that trains. In case you were wondering, um, I meant to be muted. So he's a little slow on him. His form's not the greatest, but he's definitely a stud. He's you know in his 40s and he's busting his butt here at strength camp. So those are thrusters. So the reason why I wanted to show you that was uh, two things, two reasons. Because number one, I want you to see that with our manual, all you got to do is click the exercise and it takes you to a page. Yeah, see, this one's on critical bench. That's, they should all be on critical bench. I'll have to fix that. Um, they take you to a page where uh, you have a video if you're not sure how to perform these exercises. So uh, that was the first thing. And the reason, other reason why I want to show you that is because uh, it's not just an endurance workout. It's also a power workout. Barbell thrusters uh, develop quite a bit of power because of the amount of speed and speed because you have to generate a lot of speed in order to move that barbell from the front squat position to over your head. Um, same thing with this day. It's another one of our hybrid training days um, where we've got some power type exercises. You've got burpees. Uh, and, you know, burpees are a power exercise because you're jumping, uh, high knee jumps, um, barbell sumo uprights. These are all exercises that are power based, but we're circuiting them. So we've got our power, speed, our endurance all happening on these training circuit days. Uh, so you see the contrast between uh, the first two days power building days, heavy lifting, and then the the next, the following, the rest of the week here, um, where you've got the hybrid training circuit. It's very different. Building muscle, burning fat at the same time. Building that superior muscle fiber, and this is how we do it. We, now, we, we try to combine two or three strength qualities into each workout. Um, some people, if you, if you look at some of Ori Hoffmeckler's stuff, he likes to create circuits that uh, include all of the strength qualities and that's pretty cool I've just found that it just gets a little too cumbersome for me and, and I like to split them up a little bit into these three phases and then into the workouts of the week so day six this is I've got to be completely honest with you day six I threw in there just I mean look <laughs> it's a spe it's called a specialization day I threw this in there because I know there are some guys that are gonna be unhappy with their bicep development I get it. I totally understand, and uh, I wanted you to get an opportunity to work on uh, body parts that are lagging. And um, you know, we mentioned in one of our videos or one of our reports uh, the idea of muscle shifting, and uh, and Ori Hoffmeckler in his um, his book Maximal Muscle Minimum Fat that I keep referring to, he he actually refers to muscle shifting as training muscles that <coughs> that are uh, that have become deficient in strength and size. Uh, and leaving those that have uh, sufficient strength and size alone while you're training. Well, I did this sort of as, as a more of an aesthetic builder, um, you know, because I, I think if we're trying to correct posture, I should create a totally different product for that. And in fact, I might. But anyway, so there's some guys that are, you know, they're going to want bigger, a bigger back. I've had dudes email me that said, Elliot, I want to get my lats to spread. Okay, cool. I'm not that into it, but I know how to help you with that. So that's there. Shoulder specialization, you want broader shoulders, ab specialization. Um, so we've got all types of, that's day six, all types of different specialization workouts. So if you are lacking you know, or lagging in a particular area, these are, the, these are the areas that are typically going to be lagging. So we threw those in there for you. So that's it. Uh, you can just, if you rewind this part of the video and you want to, Jot this stuff down and use it. That's fine. You know, just take note that this is only one week out of a uh, out of a four week phase in a three phase program. Um, but I want you to try it out, and, and and maybe like later on in the week we'll do something where you can um, you can send us your 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 thoughts or your ideas about these workouts if you do actually try them out. Okay, like I said, uh, stick around. Uh, in, in the next section of this video, you're going to see some guys doing some of these workouts. I think it's we've got some pretty fun and cool stuff in there for you. I think you're going to enjoy it. I'll talk to you next time.